you really feel alive when you're using your body. You're out there performing. and It gives you so much energy when you know there's an audience out there. My name is Avi Gold, and I am a company dancer here with the Minnesota Ballet. Originally, when I was eight years old, my uh, Little League coach told me to go take this free stretch and strength class at a local dance studio. Eventually, it stuck, and at 12, we decided to quit Little League altogether and just become professional dancers, and we all did. For me, it's really invigorating to get new people in here with you know, new attitudes and new ideas and just fresh energy. My name is Suzanne Kutzberg. I've been here for 20 years, so I'm kind of part of everything. <laughs> the thing with dance is you can become whoever you want to be at that moment, and you get to, if you're shy, you can be outgoing. If you're um, timid, you can be glamorous. You can be, just transform yourself into another character, and it's just really wonderful. Um, my name is Carrie Gold, and I'm one of the new dancers here. I just think the first class I took, and that was, that was it. It was all over. There was nothing else that I was going to do. So I was 13, so old to be starting, but I just fell in love right away. My name is Ben Biswell, and I'm just a company dancer here at the Minnesota Ballet. We all kind of have the same uh, status or whatnot. We're all equals. It really started with an individual giving me the opportunity. Uh, my first teacher was Laura Luzica, and she just kind of said, you want to try it out? And I was like, sure, not knowing what it was going to really be like, you know, and just fell in love with it. Just keep your mind open. You never know what is going to touch you or what is going to be communicated to you through the dance. And that's what I love about it so much. It's not like a painting that you can admire for a hundred years, but um, there's just something that it really touches the performer deep inside, I think, for myself, and hopefully at least a few audience members out there, it touches them as well. To use our bodies as our instruments and to be able to communicate such a vast amount of things to our audience in combination with the music is really a unique experience that I think everybody, especially Duluthians, should be a part of.